Alright guys, when uh, nobody was looking, I took my bearing buster kit, which is right there, and uh, placed it onto the stock pinion and pried off the pinion bearing. Now, I'm going to reuse this pinion bearing. I'm going to degrease it very, very thoroughly, and then I'm going to slightly remount the inside diameter so that when I go to test fit my shims to make sure that they're properly um, uh, the right size and thickness, I can go ahead and do that. One thing you will notice about this, this is the Yukon Gear uh, 355 kit. You'll notice that the thickness of the pinion is actually less by the depth of that standoff. So rather than add the depth to the gear face, they add the depth to this shoulder. So the shoulder is the same height. They recommend reusing the same shim. I'll go ahead and pull the shim off, clean it up, mic it, and then add new shims. This roller bearing is shot. The other races are shot. This guy came off nice and clean, uh, pried up beautifully with that bearing buster kit, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up very, very thoroughly, and like I said, use it to drop onto here with the proper shim, place in the case, and then we can go ahead and uh, compare that to the ring gear. The ring gear is on the pinion carrier, and, uh, I'm sorry, the ring carrier, should I say the differential carrier, and the bolts are tightened up not to spec. I'm going to back each one off, uh, red lock tight it and then torque it to spec. Place them all on there, then torque them to spec in a, in a star pattern. I tend to just go crisscross, so I go opposite 180 and then come back and then come back and then come back and just cr keep crisscrossing until I've hit every bolt once and then I hit again. So I'm going to look up the spec on uh, that torque um, and then finish getting this guy all cleaned up before I do all that. But in order to put it on, I basically just put the ring on there pulled it up, took some of the old bolts, put them on there finger tight, and then just cinched it together and had the bolts pull the ring up. That way I wouldn't have to uh, do any pressing with that. Now, there's a couple of different ways we can go about pressing on the pinion bearing. One quick and easy way, if you don't have a press, which I do have a press on the way, it is coming. I decided to go ahead and spend $120 on that, but it, it is a 12-ton press. It's going to allow me to do this bearing job and also my rear wheel bearings. I've decided to go ahead and do those as a preventative measure. But one thing you can do is you can take these brand new roller bearings and you can degrease them thoroughly. And I mean like basically after you've decreased them thoroughly with uh, brake clean, you would then probably want to soak them in acetone. But you take this guy and you stick them in an oven at about 350 degrees say 15 to 20 minutes or so, you want these to get up a little over 200 degrees. And what that does is it softens the metal and causes the molecules in it to slightly expand and soften. And you can either freeze this and or just let it stay at, you know, standard room temperature. But what happens is when you go to stick this on, it'll basically just fall straight to the bottom. But again, that's your final uh, dimension. So you want that to be the last thing you do in order to test fit everything back into the case and make sure that your backlash is properly set and to make sure that your uh, tooth pattern is properly set you want to use a um, use the bearing that came off of it clean it up thoroughly ream it out so that it sits on here snug but does not wobble you don't want any play in it at all so just take some sandpaper and uh, get that cleaned out so that it will just barely fit on there snugly um, other than that about the only thing left to do is um, uh, get the new bearings pressed on to the pinion carrier, sorry, the ring carrier. One thing you'll notice is that this came from Yukon Gear with a test pattern on it. So you can see they fit them together at the factory when they do their QC, and that tooth mat uh, pattern is beautiful. Right smack in the middle, nice and clean. And uh, all right, so here we are. Just going to go ahead and mic out the dimensions of our standoff post here. Looks like it's 1.626, 1 1.626, 1 1.624, 623,
guys. I probably just spent the better part of about 20 minutes working on this. Yeah, and slide uh, over. You can see. So I just need to get it pried off a bit now. And we'll clean it up just ever so slightly by hand. And uh, just kind of ream it out ever so slightly a little bit more so it can slide on easier, pop off easier. 